it's turned out to be an absolutely diamond morning beautiful absolutely great the only trouble is is that I want to come up this river the tide is falling so I'm trying to work my way up the bank against a falling tide so I've got no way under uh, and there's really no wind I mean it's good having no wind because it's nice to see the place with no wind but it does make sailing hard so basically what I'm doing is paddling The skill is to keep the rudder over just a bit uh, and then you paddle just when you need to to keep the boat going in the direction you want. I've got the echo sounder it's going really well. Ugly though isn't it? The kettle's on, that's the only sound. The river has got quiet. I'm making terrible progress across the shore, so uh, I'm going to get back to some paddling, see if I can make some way without disturbing the birds. However, just as I said that, a bit of a breeze has chipped up, you just see it on the water. So, maybe I'll sail for a bit. That's amazing, the wind has just filled in from behind and you can just see the little ripples of wind on the river. And it's gonna allow me to sneak right up alongside this mud bank. Just gotta keep a careful eye on the depth because I don't really wanna go aground at this stage. I just wanna sneak up on the mud flat quietly. Usually, uh, I'm going with the tide. I'm trying to sneak against the tide so the tide is falling. So the birds should be trying to take on that valuable real estate as it's uh, unveiled by the falling tide. So there should be good numbers of birds up here. But even if there aren't, the sailing's wonderful. Look at this. Look at that. It's about half past eight in the morning. Middle of March. UK. Good job. What are you guys waiting for? Sailing up the river, tide's coming out. It's kind of uh, almost a beat, it's a tight fetch. But the tide is really slopping. The wind's picked up a fair bit, so there is enough wind to drive the boat forwards, but we're not making very good progress. But that's good. The sailing's nice. A sort of game of chess between you and the river. It really helps, though, if you know how deep it is. And I'm afraid the old Hawkeye. Thank you. Oh, you're back again. There. Just went from nothing to back again. Although, I am right beside the channel bark, so there's probably six or eight feet available. It's just I'm not entirely sure where it is. Here we are, Monday morning, March. There you are. Oh. 
Right, you can hear the notes changed. We are now aground. Mud tells a story. You can see all the bird activity being slowly eradicated by the incoming tide. The other miraculous thing that has happened is that um, the echo sounder is working and the sum log has sprung back to life. And the 40 years old and it's still working. That is brilliant, isn't it? I don't think it's telling me the truth yet, but it's working. I'm just drifting with the tide. No sails up, nothing. Just letting the tide take me up the river. ditch crawling journey is that you sail past channel boys which are aground then you know you're in the right sort of territory is what my tags are. 